Hey guys, welcome to my third AutoWit version 3 coding tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to make basic GUIs, and it's going to be a basic program which gets your IP address, which is pretty cool. It's a big jump from my last um, tutorial, but I am just decided to kind of do my tutorials, how I basically learned, but um, a little tip before I begin. If you have any questions that I probably can't, I mean, if you on your own, I mean, if you think there's a function that exists um, for any particular script you're making, just use the help. I mean, it's like, you're like, what the fuck, no one uses that? Trust me, it helps a lot. You can easily do a lot with it and find different, it's really easy to use, just, just trust me. But um, let's get started, because I probably have 10 minutes and I last, I just recorded before and I ran out of time, so. Um, first off, you gotta save as, so you can run. Um, here's my last one that I used. Or just YouTube. Ah, well. Uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, sorry. I had to include that. Um, include these files because they um, make your program that you're making run and run successful. Um, each pro or each file that you include has a specific uh, duty in their in your script. So just include these. Go ahead and pause it and copy them. You're gonna have your um, number symbol and then include and then space and these little fish thingies and then the, the file. They're all right here. Just go ahead and pause. It. Oops. Go ahead and pause it, and I'll zoom in on it for you, but, um, we gotta get going, so, go ahead and pause it for yourself. Um, now we're gonna make the GUI. You can do it manually, if the function is GUI create, oops, and then the title and name, but I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna use the program, because it's a lot simpler and faster, because, I'll just explain it as we go. Um, you're gonna make the window and select the title, IP finder, doesn't matter. Um your size that's about a good size right there click it to stop or the sizing and stuff um add your input box we're gonna just make it blank because we're gonna have to have text come in which is your ip address um just set it anywhere like that i'll post the link of this download in the description don't worry and you're gonna add your button just get ip you can call it which will be the text on it set it like right Oops, damn it. I'll fix that when I'm uh, editing, the, editing editing, it in the fucking program. God damn, I can't talk. All right, and we're just going to add a label, maybe. Um, get your IP here. And here's a sweet label. Let's just put it right here. There we go. And it's a pretty sweet looking GUI, if I say so myself. If I may say so. Oh, <gasps> shit. Okay. Well, um, once you got that done, you can just go ahead and export the script. Yep. This program is really sweet because it just already does everything for you. Um, yeah, go ahead and like that. Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Let me copy and paste this. See, it will open. Um, here it is. Alright, we'll see it already made everything for you. Maybe. I'll explain everything right now. All right, your GUI create, which makes the GUI window. Print, make sure you have those parentheses and your quotations. You're gonna have your title right here. I'll do this for you. Your title right here, and then end your quotation, comma, and now your width height, which is already set, your width height, and then your left, um, where it's located from the left, and then the top, from the top, where it's located. And then close off those parentheses. Now we have a variable. A variable is a simple word that holds um, a little more information that than you want to like talk. Like it just holds information that's been um, made. Like GUI control create button made a button with text and a location, and now that's all set into this variable. It's very helpful when you're scripting. So, and then here's a GUI control create input. You got your parentheses, then and then your text, which is it's blank. And you got your left top width and height. And now your label, which is that label. It says get your IP here and your left top width and height. It's always left top left top width and height. I've been doing it so much I just remembered it. So I don't have to continually go back and use this thing. But um, for GUI, it's always width and height first. I don't know why it just is. And now for it to show, you got to set its state. GUI set state. And you're going to have this at symbol and then SW underscore show which shows it there's disable there's restore there's minimize there's a lot but you're just going to show that's everyone uses that and now this is a while statement a while statement um just 
pulls the GUI for any messages that have occurred. And here's the variable that equals message. It's like the variable is message, and then it gets it's set to GUI get message, which pull that pulls the GUI for any message that has occurred. And then these are the things to look for. It's an if then statement. These are self-explanatory. It's just like if something happens, then something else happens. You're gonna have if and then message equals negative three. So that means if the message that the GUI has gotten equals negative three, which is closing it, it then exits the script, which closes the program. And now this one is if the message equals button one, this right here, right there, um, meaning if it's clicked, then that equals function button one, which is down here. And that extends the information on what happens when you click the button. And then that, and then you just put wn because you're done with that while statement. And now for your function of your button. What happens when you click your button? Well, we want to get your IP. So before anything, you're going to include this. It's a variable called, you're just going to name the variable public IP. Or your IP, how about that? And then that equals this, a function which gets your IP. Get IP. Have those because that specifies what your IP is going to be. Because it's blank right now, but it will be filled and then it will be stored in that variable right here. And thanks to this, that's possible. So it gets your IP and then stores it into this variable. And then makes your GUI with all your buttons, labels, and inputs. And then waits for the messages to occur if you exit or press the button. And when you press the button, this is going to happen. It's going to, you're going to set the data. So you're going to GUI control set data. You're going to set a new data for a control. So it's going to be the control ID of the variable. You're going to, you want, we, we're going to change the input box to say your IP. So you're going to put input, oops, we're going to say input one. We're going to change that's, that's, or it's data. Cause since it's blank, we're going to fill it with what's your, what it, what your IP becomes. And now we're going to say, we're going to change input one to have your IP. And now it's going to have your IP address from that and put it in that input box because we control set data, if you understand. So it's, it's setting the data of that variable to be your IP address. It's, it's not blank anymore. And then that's it, end function, or you can add a message box. Like in my first tutorial, message box, uh, IP, whatever. You have acquired your IP. And then let's test this out. Oop, got to change some stuff. Hold on. It's a little messed up from that program. It always makes things distorted. Left top with height. Let's make this 30. All right. That's pretty fine. I mean. Pretty cool. Get your IP here. Get IP. Let's click the button. <gasps> There's your IP address. You have acquired your IP. It's pretty cool. Get your IP and everything. So um, I hope you enjoyed my second tutorial. I'm probably running out of time. Um, I'm sorry if I went too fast. You can always pause it. I have a time limit, so and I wanted to get as as much in as possible. So um, please rate, comment if you had every, if you have any questions. Please PM me. I'll be glad to help you. Alright, I'll see you until my third tutorial. See ya.